My name is Eric Lippert. I'm the head golf professional here at Pebble Beach Golf Links. I have that distinct privilege. We are very proud to be a host, and we're very proud to have you all here. So thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. Really excited to see how Eric plays this afternoon. Um, warm up was really good. The key really around this golf course is to keep it out of trouble. Now there's ocean on basically half of the hole. If you can keep it on the other side, and at least you can find the ball. Um, that's going to help him break 90. And then the greens are so small, if he just hits to the middle, then that's going to give him the best opportunity for pars and birdies. So it's kind of the old adage of one shot at a time. Just keep it as simple as you can. Try and play his own game. But I'm very optimistic that he's going to do a great job. I guess the takeaway from the first shot, which I thinned into the rough just before the beginning of the fairway, is it's good I didn't shank it, because then I would be lying three and still on the tee. I feel like we can still make a par from here, and the truth is, Joe, let's get one thing straight. I'm a f***ing comedian, okay? All right. And the idea that I could break 90 on a US Open course from the tips when Jason Gore is trying to do the same and he's a plus six, that says a lot. All right, let's get into gear. Okay, didn't cut. I want you to feel like the hole is right in here. A lot of nerves on the tee, I think, you know, I get nervous over tee shots, whatever, whatever, but this is a little different. Like I'm basically setting out to make a video where I'm challenging myself to do something for essentially you all to see. And it's not intended to be a comedy. Uh, this is actually real. I kept thinking, geez, break 90, more like break 80. I mean, that, that said though, the best thing I can do is start off with a double bogey. I'm just gonna say it. The best thing I can do is start off with a double bogey because now I'm free and clear. I'm easy. I've paid my debts. Very nice. Gangster head. You wanna know what's so funny? I can't hit it. I just <laughs> bought that. You bought what? <laughs> just bought it. In the pro shop? No. Oh. Like last week I went to Roger Down and bought it. I <laughs> huh? Dude. With that's cash. that's Jim Furyk uh, Tour Championship. Yeah, he goes and buys the yes putter. Yep. Makes 10 mil. Team yeah. playing about two. Four iron. Yeah. Just Great. go we, we, see we, the left side of the green though, Eric. Yeah. It's a little cut lie. So if we play off the left side of the green, it'll roll. All right. Yeah, Fun yeah. times at Ridgemont High. We're in the bunker, line three. Yep. I think what we look, for, for me, what I look at here is, I just wanna make a bogey. I just wanna get on the green, two putt, and then we've done one better than all before. Come back. We can make that. Great shot. Thanks, man. Nothing like when a tour player says, great shot. You gotta aim, uh, see where Jason's ball is? Yeah. Right over his ball. Okay. Yeah. And it's not a full one? Um, it folds okay because that'll spin. But you know, you don't need to nuke it, just a good solid shot. Full, full red. Joe saying, normally this is kind of sitting up, so I took a bounce. It's usually rough up here, so it catches it, yeah. So we, we see the ball. I feel like 
The hard part is getting up over that, but I feel like... Seven over on the fifth tee box. <laughs> not quite the start I was looking for. The update is that I'm not seven over, I'm eight over because two is not a par five, it's a par four. So, what the course is going to play is par 70. Well, if they turn six into a par four, par 71 usually. Good news is it can turn any minute. Nice ball. I don't think it's possible to play well and think about score. Oh, relief. Like think about a number, nice you know? Yeah. Just one shot at a time. If this goes 170, do you want me to hit a different club? I don't want it over. 175? That's good. <laughs> what if it goes 170? That'll work. I'd rather do that than 185. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Got a boy good shot. Good swing. Come on, carry. Be right. right. Be right. Got a boy. Get down there. Good All right, good shot. Can I get the golf clap? All right. Sound the alarm. We've hit a green. I hit a really good shot, best shot of the day so far. Uh, he's got about 40 feet, but it's really fast and downhill. Um, just looking for him to hit a really good putt and, and hopefully he has a chance to go in. All right, so coming up to the sixth tee, six, seven, and eight, obviously one of the three more special groupings of holes on planet Earth. But the experience of playing real, real golf in these conditions is just, it's different, it's different. Not your normal round. You might recognize where we are. This is the famous eighth tee box at Pebble Beach. And not only is this the start of what Jack Nicklaus calls the best approach shot in golf over the crevasse or crevice if you're in America, it's also the beginning of the hardest three holes at Pebble Beach, eight, nine, and 10. I'm playing some awful golf today and I'm gonna see if I can make it out even par through the next three holes. You can place your bets now. I won't be offended if you bet against me, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. That's the end of the intro. Now cue the slow motion shot of me teeing off here. And by my reaction, you'll see where the ball went. All right, so after a shaky, safe signal like this from Joe the caddy, we have found our ball right here, pretty much as close to the end of the earth as it can be. And now we've got about a seven iron to hit this green, maybe that's what we had earlier. So, so far, it's going well. This is a pretty epic second shot. Got our man Jason Gore over here working with the USGA to sort of protest this place. And when I say protest, I don't mean protest, I mean test it as though he was a pro. Can 70 to the pin. Wind's a little more down this morning though, do you think? No, it's hurting. You think? Yeah, this is left to right with a little hurt. Yeah, yeah. This, mm. So we go. Uh, I mean, we could just we cut go a little 75. 
I mean, 70 75, nine, 75 I mean, it's was It's going to jump off that line. Yeah, Six 75 was the par three. Yeah. And I'm feeling well, that, good right here's now. Here's the thing. I want you even left of the green. Yeah, at the ball. That'll work. Second shot into the three hole stretch of the hardest holes of Pebble. We're strapped in, saddled up, and the gel is in our hair. Well, we're safely in the bunker, and I don't think it's plugged. Real talk? You stand over that shot, and you've got 140 yards of basically dead bones. Any normal pirate would be scared in that situation. But it's, you just gotta, I don't know, I mean, I didn't hit a great shot, but it's just about kind of standing over the ball and just sort of, but that's why we play, you know what I mean? We play to be terrified. Yeah, you come here because it's beautiful, but if the game was easy, no one would play it. Missed the green on eight, bogeyed eight. We need to birdie nine. What's your role here as, as a member of the USGA now? I am just kind of going around the golf course seeing what I think of it and just kind of trying to give a couple answers to them or whatever they're looking for. From the professional golfer's perspective? Yeah, from the, from, from the tour player's perspective. I mean, granted, I was not anymore, but for 23 years or 22 years I was. So I, I feel like I have a good eye about what I'm looking at. What do you see when you come out to a course and you're looking at it from... You know, now the USGA's perspective. What are you looking at? I'm just trying to see like what the lines are and what where the cut where the rough is, how the rough's playing. That's why I'm hitting it in the rough so often today. Um, uh, just trying to see like how it feels, how it plays. And so, when you think U.S. Open, what what comes to your mind as far as course layout? Tough test, rough, narrow fairways. Sometimes. And as far as Pebble Beach goes, how many times would you say you've played here? Two hundred. 200 times. Maybe. No, this is a I love that. place. I mean, I mean, just look at this. Like, you don't see this very often. No, you just, you like, don't see golf at this extraordinary level. No, it's a, it's a pretty special place. You know what's going to happen? <laughs> if this putt doesn't go in the hole, it's going 97 feet past. <laughs> it's 10th hole, final hole in the, uh, Hardest three hole stretch. Uh, bogeyed the first two, put the tee shot in the water on 10. Not feeling great. Five iron you gave me? This is like vertigo standing on this edge. Oh my God, there's people right there. Jay, so what do you have to say about the eight, nine, 10, three hole stretch, most difficult holes here at Pebble? They're hard. They're really hard when you sink. <laughs> yeah, which I do right now. Um, they're just great holes. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta really bear down and just hit a good drive. I mean, I'm not playing that bad. I'm one over on each hole, so I'm two over through the stretch, and now I basically have to chip this in for par. So up and down for bogey. So three over through the stretch, which, I mean, that's for good. a regular dude, that's, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Just trying to build up my confidence. <laughs> you need a hug right now, don't you? <laughs> I sure do, man. <laughs> Lakeside member right here. That's LA, right. man. That's right. Remind me to never do this again. All right, so finish the three-hole stretch at four over. Bogey, bogey, double. I'm not putting very good. And so then... Like most golfers, you run into the experience of where I'm not playing my best, but you're not going to play your best every day. In fact, you're not going to play your best maybe three times a year. All right, so second shot here on 11. Thank you. I am I'm going to wrestle my demons. So I'll see you later. Breaking 90 on a U.S. Open course. What do you think, Paul? Chances possible? Hi, you're gonna do it. Hi. We got a lot of golf left. A lot of golf left. New York Times writer guy. I mean, this is like this is legit information right here. Joe just told me something that really pissed me off. This fairway currently 28 yards wide. Yep. How wide is it normally? We would you would have been in the fairway. I was twice as wide. I would yeah. So you gotta realize that. The U.S. Open course is not just like quick greens and like long holes. It's like everything's tiny, the rough is thicker. But here's the thing is the way we live is I miss the fairway, I miss the green, and then we're going to chip in. That's how we're going to make birdie. Nice. Oh, yeah. hey, I gave you, that. you got it.
guys, guess what? You know what's live? Ace Camp. Welcome to Ace Camp. We still have one more par three. Hey, oh, 17. Eric, Eric's gonna hit the one iron. 17, y'all. Guys, look, I don't know, but do you, I feel like I do just- Do you see him walking with I his just butter? smell a ton of pars and maybe one birdie. Or two. Those get scared. Par train on the back nine. I'm gonna go ball on the right. Is that the ball on the right, John? When you're looking at setting up the course, what what are your feelings on relation to par? Do you do you have a thought on that? Is there a general consensus for the USGA? We really don't. You know, a lot of people think that we we have a goal of par being the winning score. Really don't. I think every place is different. Every place we go, a lot of it depends on the weather. You know, we look at score. We look at what guys shoot. But I think our goal is really that par is a good score on any hole. And there's a lot of risk reward. I mean, you know, there are certain holes like number number six. You know, most of the guys are going to be able to hit something down the fairway and chase it up on the green. And, we're not going to try to do something goofy there. We're just, you know, it is what it is. It's just Pebble Beach. So we um, really don't think about score. A lot of people think we do, but we think that you know, par on every hole is uh, on each hole is, is a good score. That's kind of what a U.S. Open is. By the way, guys. By the way, guys. Thank you for the flag stick. You like that? We're loving it. Over oh, here. <laughs> that is the best. We're loving the flag. That's good I used to, to hear. Do that. Sorry, Any, anyway. <laughs> yeah. And I felt lazy. Now I don't feel lazy. No. I feel, I feel like I'm following the rules. I think, I think that's the one we've had the most positive comment about. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, you that's you great. just get after it and play. Yeah. It feels like hitting a wiffle ball bat into like a five pound bag of hot spaghetti. I mean, it's makeable, folks. It's so makeable. I think we need a birdie. We need to go birdie, birdie, eagle. We can do it. So right now, Eric is at 17 over par. He has got three holes left, so it's getting pretty tight. 17 over, if he pars out, puts him at 98, I believe. So he's uh, he's got a little bit of wiggle room. See how close it is? I was a bit of a wizard here. He's, he's a ship of irons of the, uh, of the crew. I don't know where we're at on the scorecard. You gotta go ask Chris where we're at on the scorecard, like what needs to happen to break 90. Well, I don't wanna know. know. I don't wanna know. know. I'll tell you. I don't know. know. I haven't been at it. I haven't been at it. I mean, I have no idea where I'm at. Do I need to par out? What's what I need to do? Coming up to 17 here. Quite a par three. Quite a location for Ace Cam, everybody. Very excited to welcome you to Ace Cam. So here's the deal, Eric is currently 19 over par, unfortunately flubbed his chip in the bunker, chipped it out, two putted and made double, so he needs to make a birdie on the last hole to 89. Here we go. I mean, this is a practice round or is this the actual thing? I think it's a practice round. This is quite a golf hole, folks. I mean, they really save it for the end. You, you get a lot of looks at Pebble as far as beauty and where land meets sea. 18 is kind of an incredible par five. This is the This is the Just gotta make it. Okay. I have a feeling like this is it, huh? Can do it. <laughs> die at least. That may have been one of the hardest rounds of my life and we played Beth Page from the tips. Right. <laughs> that was actually a good par. Was that a par? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Well, good buddy. That was fun. Turned it came, it around, you came man. as close as you can possibly right. get. You did great. Chris, well done. The truth is like I invite anybody out there to go out and play US Open course single digit handicap 
Tell yourself that you're gonna break 90, film the whole thing, and then show it to 30,000 people. <laughs> Try not to shake when you're like putting for double on the first, second, third, and fourth hole. It's, it's ridiculous, it's hard. I think I'm done, everybody. I think you've seen enough of my mug. Enjoy the US Open.